Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Brian Lovett, AKA B Love. Today, we're gonna to be talking about LED Tiki torches and practical 3D printing. Let's get into it. I've been slowly building out my little pandemic paradise behind me with a hot tub, a pergola, some nice landscaping, things like that. Stuff to get away from the inside of the house after a couple months being locked away at home. One of the things I picked up are these LED Tiki torches. And now the thing I don't like about these is that they're real flimsy. The way that they're set up, these poles just kind of sway back and forth. They bend and it's not quite ideal, but I think 3D printing might be the way to rescue ourselves from that. And so what I'm thinking is if you detach this, it has this nice little nub here. And what we can do is we can measure this, which I've already done. It's about an inch and a quarter. And we can 3D print a holder for this so that this slides in it has a nice little maybe six inch or so overhang over here and the nice flat wall plate so that I can mount these to the sides of the pergola. Let's start by firing up Fusion 360 and see if we can't come up with something relatively quickly. This is kind of a really rough draft that I came up with. This is maybe kind of 10 minutes of playing around. This base plate I think will be what actually mounts against the wood on the outside. And then there'll be this arm that sticks out about six inches. That gives us, what I figured is from center to edge is about four inches. So it'll give us just a little bit farther than this edge, two inches farther than this edge of overhang before this slides in. And then this hole right here is where the bottom of the torch will actually slide in. And I think, you know, this is thick enough, it's actually, uh, just a little bit thicker than this piece here. And so I think this will be thick enough all the way around to hold this. This thing weighs quite a bit. So I want something that's fairly sturdy. Now, one tip when you're working with Fusion 360, you can actually export straight to an STL file. The STL file, of course, is what you can import directly into Prusa Slicer or whatever slicer you're using, Cura, whatever. So I'm gonna drill two more holes and then we're gonna export that STL. Now recently I've been printing almost everything I do out of PETG, but I'm out of black PETG and I think this will look best in black. So I'm gonna print it out of some PLA. So there we have it. That actually looks dimensionally correct. And let's do a slice. We've got our first print hot off the printer, so to speak, and I think it came out pretty nice. We've got uh, this piece on the back that you can mount to the wooden beam. We've got a nice hole through here, and then we've got some screw holes. Now, one thing that I'm gonna note right off the bat is that I definitely put the pre-tapped screw holes a little bit too close to the edges. So here's the beautiful thing about 3D printing. I can go and make another prototype of this and print it out, I can do two or three revisions easily within one day. So that's what we'll do. We'll print out another one that has those a little bit farther spaced out. Now, having said that, the moment of truth is upon us. And we've got our torch. So let's see if it fits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. We've got good clearance here, a good probably inch or so away from this. Uh, this fits in here nicely. You can hear that sort of click in. Yeah. I mean, that fits in there just as well as it does the, the metal posts. There we go. We can turn it on. Let's go see how this looks outside. All right, let's see how this looks actually on the pergola. I don't even know if I have to go through any other design iterations. I think that looks pretty good. You got plenty of clearance between the wood and the light. It's modular, you can move it around. That looks pretty darn good, I think. It's about 24 hours later and all four of the, I guess you call them wall sconces, but the adapter plates have been printed and they all look pretty good now. I'm gonna start off by 
uh, it's hot out here, but I'm going to start off by attaching them with adhesive. And then once I have them in a place that I like, then we can go back in and we can drill these in. We can use some screws and attach them more permanently, but this is how we'll get started right now. And here we are, all four of these installed. And here it is all lit up at night.